Hello everyone, in this lecture we are just going to interface relays to our microcontroller pic 16 f 877 a for controlling 230 volt AC light appliances. Let's get started. So initially we will try to build the simulation circuit in Proteus for our program. So I am going to the components tab. We need the PIC 16 of 877A microcontroller. And then we want an NPN transistor. Type in NPN. This is the transistor. And then we want a resistor. And we want a relay. You can see in Proteus we are having this active relay, animated relay model. Select that. After that we want button for demonstrating this project. And then we want alternator which is nothing but an AC source that is alternating current source available in Proteus. And then we want a AC lamp. Type in lamp and you can get this animated light bulb select that and click on ok that's all about the components required and i am building the circuit now what i will do is i am just going to connect a push button to the rb0 pin of the microcontroller and then i will build a relay driver circuit that we discussed in the previous lecture and i am going to connect the relay driver circuit to the rb1 pin of this microcontroller So the push button will be configured in pull down logic. So this is the pull down logic and whenever I press this button a positive 5 volt signal will be given to the RB0 pin of the microcontroller and whenever I release the button a 0 volt signal will be given to the RB0 pin of the microcontroller and relay driver circuit is nothing but we want a transistor and a resistor relay alternator and we want a lamp And now we want a 12 volt supply over here as we are using a 12 volt relay. Double click this and type in plus 12 volt. And here we just want to give a 5 volt signal. Change this resistor to be 220 ohms. That's all about the circuit. Now we will try to complete the programming section. So the programming logic is simple. Whenever we press this button, this pin must be made high so that this relay will be triggered and this light bulb will be glowing. And whenever we release the button, this light bulb must be turned off. This is the logic. That is, we just want to check the status of the RB0 pin of the microcontroller. If it is high, we will turn on the RB1 bit. And if it is low, we will turn off the RB1 bit. Now let's see the programming part. I am opening the MPLAB IDE. So initially we just want to configure the pins that we are using. So I just want to configure the RB0 pin as input and the RB1 pin as output. So, so I can write press B0 equal to 1 will configure the RB0 pin as input and Risk P1 equal to 0 will configure the RB1 pin as output. So let's come to the programming logic part. 
so coming into the logical part you can see we just want to monitor the state of the rb0 pin and if it is high we just want to make the rb1 pin as high so i can write if rb0 equal to equal to 1 we just want to turn on the rb1 if it is not high we just want to turn off that pin right so i can write else of rb1 equal to 0 so if rb0 pin is high this if condition will be true making the rb1 pin high if the rb0 pin is not high this if condition will be false so automatically this else part will be executed making the rb1 pin low so that's all about the programming logic if the button is pressed this statement will be executed that is the if condition will be executed and if it is released this else part will be executed turning off the relay so i am building the code So now I am loading the program to the simulation, double click the IC and click on the icon over here and go to the respective project folder. Inside that folder you can find this hex file, click on it and click on open and change the crystal frequency to be 20 MHz and click on OK. That's all the program has been successfully loaded to the IC. Now click on the play button to play the simulation in the left bottom corner of the window. Now you can see whenever I press the button this relay will be triggered and the light bulb will be turned on and if I release the button this relay will be de-energized and this light bulb will be turned off. So, in this way, you can interface relays to your PIC16 of 877A for controlling high power appliances. And in the previous lecture, we discussed about the feedback diode over here. In simulation, it is not required to provide the feedback diode, but in hardware, you must definitely provide the feedback diode. For uploading the program onto the microcontroller, firstly, power up the development board using external 12 volt 1 amps adapter through this socket provider and then connect the picket 3 to your pc usb port using mini usb cable then the terminals of picket 3 are connected to the microcontroller as per this circuit diagram if your development board is not showing these pin nodes or if you are not having a development board you can connect the terminals of picket 3 to the microcontroller port pins as per this circuit diagram or you can just build this circuit in a breadboard for programming the microcontroller once the circuit is built come to the programmer tab and hover over select programmer you will see a number of programmers in our case select picket 3 you can see picket 3 detected Click on OK. You must see this target detected. And then go to the programmer tab again and click on program. You can see device is being programmed and the programming is complete. Now build the circuit to see the output in the hardware. That is the same circuit, we just want to connect a push button to the RB0 pin of the microcontroller in the pull down logic and then we want to build this relay driver circuit in the breadboard. Connect the RB0 pin of the microcontroller to the push button which is configured in pull down logic and then connect the RB1 pin of the microcontroller to the base of the transistor which is connected to the relay in the relay driver circuit.
and you just want to provide an external 12 volt 1 amps adapter for this relay as we are using 12 volt relay and for this microcontroller we are using 5 volt power source so you must not forget to commonly sort the ground of this microcontroller with the ground of this relay because we are using two power supplies that is 12 volt for relay and 5 volt for microcontroller and regarding the relay connection this light bulb phase is connected to the NO terminal of the relay and NC terminal is left free and the power supply phase is connected to the common pin of the relay and the neutral of this light bulb is connected directly to the power supply neutral and that's all about the circuit tree now when I press this push button this light bulb must be glowing and when I release it it must not glow Thanks for watching.